Say hi! So I was scrolling through some of my older videos and let me tell you, I was very surprised at the fact that I haven't filmed a waterproof makeup tutorial in a really long time. It's been years and years and years. In fact, the last time I did one was more of an affordable drugstore sweat proof, waterproof makeup look. So if you guys missed that, I'm gonna link it right up here in the cards. I'm gonna be doing something very similar today. I'm gonna be using products that I think are gonna hold up in the Florida heat and the Florida humidity. I am a Florida girl through and through. It's really hot here. You just get really sweaty, even walking to your car. It's it's insane, so we're also gonna put it to the test. I'm gonna show you guys how this makeup lasts all throughout the day. So if you guys are excited for it, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. It would mean a whole lot to me. Like this video and leave me a comment down below. With that being said, let's go ahead and zoom in and let's get started. So we are kicking today's video off with a prepped face. I already went in with serum, moisturizer, and face oil. You guys know what I love to say on my channel. If you have a good base, you'll have a good face. I did use this little combination here. It's working really well for me, but I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in it. I'm gonna kick things off with face primer and the primer of my choice, a primer that I know and love that really keeps my makeup locked and loaded is this one here by Milk. This is the Milk Hydra Grip Face Primer. It's a tried and true favorite. What I love about it is that it really helps my makeup stay on and in place. And when you get to rubbing it into the skin, it kind of has like a really nice tacky feeling to it. So anything I put on top of it is really just going to stick and adhere to my face for a long period of time. Now the next product I'm gonna go in with is this one here by One Size. This is the brand new Secure the Blur Dry Till Dawn Face Primer. This is a face primer I've been testing out for a couple weeks now and I do really like it. The only thing I will say is that it is a little difficult to use. What you wanna do is you wanna take a dime size amount of this. You wanna warm it up with your fingertips and press it into the skin. Do not swipe, do not use a brush, don't do any of that because if you apply it the wrong way, it will start to pill up and interfere with everything you have underneath. Another thing I want to know is that you actually want to wait for this face primer to completely dry for one minute before going in with your foundation. Don't ask me why, I'm just following the directions on the box. The foundation I'm going to be using today is this one here by Dior. This is the Forever Skin Glow Foundation in the shade 2.5N. I'm going to take some of this onto a mixing palette. They do offer this in a matte formula as well, but I feel like for today, I really wanted to do something that had more of a glow to it. I have a little bit of that foundation on a mixing palette. You can definitely see it's not too runny. It's not too thick. It's like the perfect consistency right in the middle. I'm going to take more of a flat brush and I'm really just going to disperse it on the mixing palette and then we're gonna press this into the skin. I'm gonna start in the center and I am gonna work my way outwards. One thing I will say about this foundation is it has great, great coverage to it, but your skin just looks so pretty and luminous. I also wanna point out that this foundation does have a little scent to it. Typically, whenever you get into that luxury tax bracket with foundations and makeup products, they do have more of a fragrance to it, but I honestly don't mind. It doesn't bother me. Let's go ahead and move on to concealer today. I will be using the Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. This is a 24 hour multi-use concealer and it does claim to be waterproof as well. I do find this to be a very nice and moisturizing formula. I don't wanna to apply too much. I feel like often I do get into the habit of applying way too much concealer. So I'm only gonna take a little bit here, here, and then also on my forehead, just to kind of highlight a little bit, but it's also gonna give me like additional coverage because I mean, who doesn't love that? To buff and blend it out i will be using a brush but i'm also going to take a little bit of the urban decay quickie concealer onto the back of my hand and i'm also going to spray my brush with a little bit of the milk hydro grip set and refresh spray just to kind of dampen it up a little bit you don't want it to be too wet though and then you also want to just like coat the bristles of the brush with a little bit of concealer before you start to blend it out this really is like my little hack and trick whenever it comes to under eye concealer not really creasing smudging or budging this concealer is also really good because it's like really hydrating and moisturizing underneath the eye so it's not gonna make you look all dry and crusty. 
once the concealer is like fully blended out i'm just gonna go back into my foundation brush and i'm just gonna make sure everything blends together sometimes i kind of hate like that line of demarcation where the concealer meets the foundation so i always like to just go back in with absolutely nothing on the brush and just kind of tap and blend everything in this next step is optional but i do like to go in with a little bit of setting spray this one here is by milk it's one of my personal favorites i like to get my face a little damp and wet and then when it's like 50 percent dry down i will go in with my setting powder this one here is by laura mercier it is the brand new talc free ultra blurring setting powder not the original i love this formula so much better because it is infused with hyaluronic acid so it's going to be like really hydrating underneath the eyes again i do do this when my setting spray is about 50 percent dry because it really locks in the concealer really really well but first i have to make sure there's absolutely no creasing underneath my eyes so i'm just gonna go in and kind of like tap here I mean, come on, do you guys see how good this looks? Like everything is just kind of set to perfection. I'm also gonna take just a little bit more of that loose powder and I'm gonna press it in the areas of my face that tend to kind of like break up and get oily throughout the day. So that's like around my nose, cupid's bow, chin and forehead. Do you guys see how well this powder mattifies? Like T-zone, where's the shine? You can definitely see the shine like all through here. I may just like mattify it because I have to kind of keep it real with myself. I live in Florida. I do get pretty, pretty sweaty and oily. So sometimes I just have to overly mattify it first because I know that my natural oils are gonna play me in the end. So we'll see what happens. Let's talk about face powder. This is a brand new face powder that I am trying out. I am gonna put it directly over top of this foundation. This is technically a powder foundation that you can wear all on its own, but because I know it is a waterproof proof formula i'm gonna put it directly over top i do really like this powder i'm not sure if it's a reformulation of the original but we're gonna test it out today i'm gonna take more of a fluffy brush this one is by sigma and dominique cosmetic or no Kristen, not her brand Kristen actually collaborated with them on this but i'm just gonna take this and set all the areas of my face that i didn't go in with that loose powder Let's get into bronzer though. I'm gonna use this one here by L'Oreal. This is the 24 hour fresh wear bronzer. It's a soft matte finish and it's also waterproof. I do really, really love this formula. I have the shade light medium. It is more on the warm side. I will say that. So a little bit goes a very long way. I'm just gonna go in with a light dusting and just like a very light hand. Sometimes when you hold your brush here towards the end, you have a little bit less pressure. So it's not gonna be as intense. So I'm just going in with a very light hand. For the eyes, I am gonna go in with just like a little bit of eye primer, but I'm gonna try to wipe away a lot of this concealer and foundation on my eyelids. Cause sometimes I find if I leave a little bit too much on there, they just crease no matter what. I'm gonna go in with the Always an Optimist Eye Primer by Rare Beauty. This one definitely is a favorite of mine. I love how thin it is in consistency. It really just lays nicely and everything I put on top of it just kind of sticks to it and lasts all day. So I'm just taking a fluffy brush and tapping this in. You see what I mean? Like when you blend it out, it just blends perfectly into the rest of the makeup. There's not like a line of demarcation. It's not too pigmented. It really is like the perfect consistency. So on a typical day, I'll probably just go in with a little bit of eyeshadow and let's say a waterproof eyeliner, but because I do wanna take things the extra mile and show you guys products that wear beautifully throughout the day in the Florida heat, I'm gonna apply these. These are the Melted Chocolate Matte Eyeshadows by Too Faced. This one is in the shade Amaretto and this one is in the shade Warm and Fudgy. Warm and Fudgy definitely is a cooler toned eyeshadow, whereas Amaretto has more warm tones to it. I think I may just go in with Warm and Fudgy and create more of a cooler toned eyeshadow for today. One thing I'm going to say about these eyeshadows is a little bit goes a very long way and because it is kind of like a soft whip creamy formula you want to work rather quickly with this because it does dry down very quickly and once it dries down and sets it does not smudge or budge all throughout the day. So I'm going to take an ABH A3 and I'm really just going to start tapping this all over the eyelids. I'm going to start at the base and work my way up just so that way it doesn't get patchy in my crease. I'm gonna switch over to a blending brush and then just work this into my crease. I am gonna take just a little bit more of this and I'm gonna run it here 
on my lower lash line. I feel like a little bit of this stuff, like I said, goes a very long way. So you definitely wanna just be careful and not overdo it. I definitely feel like this eyeshadow wears beautifully, but I do wanna amp it up just a little bit and kind of set that cream down and in place. So I'm gonna go in with the Master Mattes palette by Makeup by Mario. I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade here and I'm just going to press it in the outer V. Again, this is gonna set everything down and in place and just give me a really pretty and seamless blend. I'm gonna do the same thing on my lower lash line. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that eyeshadow and put it over top. So because this eye look definitely pulls a lot cooler, I am gonna go in with something that is going to complement it. I'm gonna go in with the Eyes to Mesmerize by Charlotte Tilbury. This one here is in the shade Oyster Pearl. You guys, I am obsessed with this formula. I find that it wears beautifully in the Florida heat and Florida humidity. I'm taking it on a fluffy brush, which I know is a little strange, but if you know anything about me and my makeup style lately, then you probably know I'm not into something that is super like precise. I want, Nothing to do with cut creases. I really just want it to look nice and effortless on the lid. So that's why I'm gonna go in with more of a fluffy brush. I've actually been waiting weeks to try and test this out on my eyes. This is one of the Moon Dust eyeshadows that I picked up during the Sephora sale in the shade Lithium. It's the prettiest kind of like taupey gray. I'm gonna take it on that same fluffy brush and I'm just going to press this onto my eyes. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy. I just want like a hint of shine. You know, I'm actually looking at this on the viewfinder and I'm thinking that's a little much for a waterproof, sweatproof makeup look. But if you're not really into all the eyeshadow, skip it. So for eyeliner, I will be using the Master Pigment Pro Pencil in the shade Plum by Makeup by Mario. Here's the thing though, this is not a waterproof formula by any means. It's not marketed as a waterproof formula. It is extremely long wearing though. At the end of the day, even though I am doing a waterproof makeup tutorial, I don't know anybody who's doing their makeup to get into the water. I think realistically speaking, we just want a very long wearing makeup look. Whenever I think of waterproof, I do think of something that is gonna hold up very strongly throughout the day. So that's why I tend to title these videos that way. But this is an eyeliner that has never failed me. It's never done me wrong. It doesn't transfer, smudge, flake, anything like that. For mascara, I'm gonna go in with the Big Mood Mascara. This is the waterproof formula by e.l.f. You can rest assured that if I'm gonna be outside in the Florida heat, more times than not, I will be wearing a waterproof formula because I've learned my lesson, let me just say that. I'm definitely gonna add in a lash. I'm just using um, a pair of Kiss Lashes in the style Jubilee. I do cut them to create more of an accent lash. It's just what I love and it's what really works for me for day to day. By the way, this probably is one of my favorite lash curlers to curl my lashes with the falsies. It's not too harsh and it just makes everything blend so much better. For blush, I don't have anything waterproof, so I am gonna go in with a formula that claims to be long wearing. I'm gonna go in with this Armani Beauty Blush. This one is in the shade 52. It's a really pretty pink color. You guys know I've really been into pink. I'm gonna keep it pretty high up on my cheek because I don't want it to weigh my cheek down. Sometimes I find that my blush placement is a little off, so I'm just going in with a little bit. I'm really obsessed with this formula. It's blending really pretty onto my face. And it's also giving a really pretty luminous glow, which is exactly what I want. I don't want my face to be too mattified. Without blush, with blush, what do you guys think? Let me know. I'm also gonna go in with this by Laura Mercier. This here is the Real Flawless Luminous Perfecting Powder in the shade Translucent Medium. It's going to give my skin a really pretty glow without looking like I'm wearing highlighter on my face because I don't want it to look like that. I really just want it to be nice and fresh and not like overly shiny. So I'm gonna take this powder all over. It's very reminiscent of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. If you guys have tried those this is very similar for my lip liner i'm gonna go in with this huda beauty lip contour 2.0 pencil this one is in the shade sandy beige and these pencils are 100 percent waterproof mm -hmm. 
I will say this lip liner, it's really pretty all on its own and they have so many colors to choose from, but because I only have that one and another one that's not here right now, I am gonna pop on just a little bit of a liquid lipstick. This is 808 Kylie. It's a really pretty pink that I think is really gonna complement the look. The last and final thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a couple of setting sprays. I'm gonna first start off with the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh. This really just helps to melt my makeup down and in place and give me a really pretty like natural finish. And then I'm gonna finish off with this right here. This is a newer product for me. This is the one size on till dawn mattifying a waterproof setting spray. So in my opinion, I'm really hoping that no matter what I put on my face, this is gonna do the job. This is gonna make everything waterproof. So we're gonna test it out. We're gonna see, I'm gonna give it a really good shake. We're gonna test it. Oh, okay. It comes out like hairspray. Smell isn't my favorite, but I kind of feel like it went like, like it sucked my face in. So this right here is a close-up view of my skin. I really love the makeup. I think it is a little bit fuller glam than what I would typically do in a waterproof, sweat-proof makeup look, but I really wanted to take it there. If you guys wanna see my more natural natural waterproof makeup looks. I'm gonna link it right up here in the cards. But the time right now, it is 3.28. I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna take my kid to the park. We're gonna go out in the Florida heat to see how well this holds up. So I will talk to you guys at the end of the night. Are you excited? You wanna hold right here? Look, right here. Give me a high five, buddy. Here, hold here and here. Hold tight. One, two. So in case you guys were curious, it's 82 degrees out here. It is pretty hot. I will say though, even though it's 82 degrees outside, my makeup is holding up very well. I don't feel like it is sweating off. I feel like it still looks really, really good, but I can't really see the viewfinder. So you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think so far down below in the comments. So I am finally back. The time right now, it is 8.56 p.m. So I've been wearing this makeup on my face for a few hours now. I went outside, we went to the park with my son, we did some walking. I was out in the flirty heat and humidity. And let me just say this, I am thoroughly impressed with the way that my makeup looks and the way it wore throughout the day. Like my face, it's still intact. It's not breaking up, it's not separating, it's not overly oily or shiny like I have no words, you guys. Like one thing about me is that I'm very particular about the makeup products I put on my face, especially if I'm gonna be wearing those products out because it's hot, it's humid here in Florida and I want them to stay in place and last. I feel like what really did it for me was this little combo here by one size, the setting spray and the primer. I feel like they are a power duo. Use them together to get the best results in my opinion. I didn't really have high hopes for this, but this may be replacing my Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. And, and that's a big moment for me because I've been writing for my milk setting spray for a while. The only thing that really wore on me was the liquid lipstick by Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Kylie. I don't feel like her liquid lipsticks are anything special. They're not like super long wearing. I'm just like really fond of the color and it went with the look. The lip liner on the other hand, it is holding on and it's holding on strong. So if you're looking for a very nice long wearing lip pencil, check out these by Huda. I'm gonna link everything down below if you guys are interested in checking anything out. My eyeshadow is still going strong. My liner is going strong. My mascara, it didn't smudge. It also didn't flake on me and my blush, it still looks very pretty and vibrant. I definitely feel like the Armani Beauty blushes are very underrated. This is so pretty on the skin and I feel like it held up like for a powder blush. I am literally shocked. By the way, this is in the shade 52 if you guys were curious. Now, if you want me to film more videos like this, let's say if you want me to do more of a sweat proof, waterproof, long wearing makeup look, but more natural, let me know down below in the comments. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join the family. I upload every Monday and Wednesday and I would love to have you guys here. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Do do do